one of the things that that I've, I've learned is that teens actually want and need a spiritual mentor. Hmm. Like each teen needs their own. Huh. And it's not that I don't think youth ministries have the capacity for that yeah. level of one-on-one yeah, discipleship. Right, yeah. But the church does. Hmm. And, and teens really do want and need another adult in their life. Mm-hmm. In the Orthodox tradition, the Catholic tradition, the Anglican tradition, the Lutheran tradition, the Methodist tradition, there's a role of godparent, yeah, godfather, yeah, right. godmother. That's that that's that person's job. Right? Is to actually be the other spiritual coach for the child. Yeah. And when middle school, high school happens, that's the the exact time where that teen needs another adult. And so what I've said for churches is that you have 30, you have 30 teens, you need 30 adults, huh. right? Because that's what they, in terms of impressing faith on them, in terms of faith persistence, that mentoring coaching relationship is really, really important. So the intergenerational interaction actually needs to be at the individual level as well. And I think for some churches, for too many churches, we have all of this capacity for this. The number of adults in a church who are empty nesters, Mm -hmm. the number of adults who might be senior citizens, right? Yeah. We have all of this adult capacity we have more capacity for this than we activate. Mm-hmm. There's all this capacity and we don't even use it. That's right. Right. So so imagine imagine a sort of surrogate uncle or a grandfatherly figure who is also invested in the life of a of a teenager. It would radically change their life. I've, I've often said that it's really it's really sad when a child leaves their church to go to college. And no one really misses them at church other than a few friends and their parents and maybe their youth staff. But other adults need to be sending them letters of encouragement and support and texts saying, I miss you. You should be missed by the whole community. Wow. Not, not simply by, by one aspect of the church. 